So I'm out here in New York and uh, I'm enjoying Central Park today. It snowed a lot yesterday and um, uh, today everybody's out because the sun's out and it's uh, it's really beautiful out actually. Even though it's freezing cold, it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's a great day. And um, I want to talk about commitment. I, uh, I came out here for a workshop and uh, the guy I came out to see unfortunately had to cancel his workshop for some reason. So I've got a few extra days out here in New York before I head off to Maryland. Uh, and he canceled before I flew out here so I could have canceled my trip but I'd already committed to seeing some of the clients out here. And there's this thing I like to talk about and it's, it's, it's something I had to learn the hard way in my company. It's called commitment. Now I don't know why he canceled. He might have had a great reason for canceling and there are sometimes things that come up but one of the things that we used to do a long time ago was if we didn't have enough students we'd see if we could rearrange or move the workshops and and we try our best now to commit. Like we just commit to a workshop. If one student shows up we show up anyways. And the reason for that has a lot to do with life loves to reward those who follow through on their commitments. It may not show up in that workshop, or that workshop could be the one where uh, it opens all kinds of doorways or possibilities to uh, future successes. Um, who knows? But the point is, is what I've noticed is whenever I commit and follow through anyways, even if it it's tough at first or the numbers aren't there, it rewards me later. It comes back and, and I get a lot of successes from it later. Um, it comes back in mindset, comes back in confidence, it comes back in my ability to believe in myself. So I want to talk to you about this idea of commitment, follow through. When it comes to exercising, I do the same thing. I didn't used to, I used to quit exercising a lot, but what I notice is in the commitment, uh, I start to change myself. It may be tough to get out, get out that day and do some exercise, but as long as I do something, a little bit, maybe not as much as I normally do because maybe I'm sick, maybe I'm not feeling well, but I get out and do a little bit, that commitment, follow through, mixed with consistency, creates results. Or let's take it in the example of showing up for uh, a teaching something. The showing up and doing it anyways, walking through the resistance, has an effect of, of, of you stepping through so much tension in your life, so much resistance, that it can't help but take a ch make a change on your internal mindset, on who you're being inside. It changes the way you feel about yourself, the way you look at yourself, and the way you see the world. And in that, you build confidence. In that, you get results. Maybe not then, maybe in the future, or maybe then. Sometimes the, the most weird things have happened when I've stepped into what seemed like an impossible situation and followed through anyways, and then suddenly amazing things show up in my life. So I wanna invite you to practice following through as much as possible. Follow through on your commitments, follow through on your actions, go for it, take that step. Now, it's hard to do this 100% because sometimes things do come up. Maybe this guy had a really good reason for not showing up at his workshop, and that is possible. But most of the time, it's something simple. I didn't have enough signups and I want more. Well, sh try showing up anyways and see what it does to the people that show up. You'd be surprised what really good customer service can do to a very small but loyal crowd. And uh, you could be, that could be the weekend that changes somebody's life, that really changes the way they view the world. So show up. Um, one more thing I want to say about this. If you think this is all hocus pocus, think think about it from more of a of a a, 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 a science based mindset kind of uh, scenario. The brain processes, and I've heard different numbers, but anywhere around four million to ten million bits of data per second is what I've been hearing lately. But you only receive, uh, see consciously about seven plus or minus two. And since you're only seeing around seven bits of information out of the four million, you're seeing the seven that most match your reality of the world. If you think the world is difficult, do you think that out of four million bits of data to 10 million bits of data per second, you can prove that the world is difficult? Do you believe that if you believe the world is positive and here to support you, do you think you can find seven bits out of four to 10 million bits that prove that the world is here to support you? See really successful people know that, that there are roads to every possibility in front of them and all they have to do is get their mind to sort for that. And how you do that is by stepping into the tension. And when you step into the tension, go for it anyways. Tell yourself, I'm gonna do it. You do it consciously and proactively, not reactively. You do it consciously and you keep surrendering to the moment, stepping into it. Something shifts inside you and then your mind starts to see 
the possibilities. Whereas when you're always quitting and stepping back, running away from the tension, your mind can't see those possibilities, can't see the change, can't see what you're creating because you didn't step into enough tension to cause the, in a sense, the muscles inside you to grow enough so that you can see that reality. And uh, it's because of doing that on a consistent basis over a lot of time and many years, I get to go all over the place and travel the world and I get to see stuff like this. You know, New York here on a beautiful day. That's actually a nice shot right there. All these people out here. The movie where they're like... And uh, I get to enjoy that skyline. And it's because of that that I get to go on great adventures. Otherwise, I'd be doing what I used to do. Waiting for my opportunity. Not creating it myself. Waiting for it to come. It was only through stepping into tension and taking risk that I created my own opportunities. On that note, I'll see you in the next video.